Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Stoneheart. So last we left off we were having some uh, new buildings and Sage has achieved farmer level 3. But I've been thinking about this series and it's not like we have a story campaign or end game goal to pursue because Stoneheart was kind of left mid-development as much as the developers tried to say they didn't. Uh, but anyways, that means we have to set our own in-game goals. So I've been thinking that maybe one of our goals could be to have like a decent looking village, a house for each villager, at least, and one villager of each job type. And I think that is more or less uh, what we could expect. So we would need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, at least 16 hearthlings. And perhaps the 17th is just going to be a generic worker. So we are close to that. We have 11 of them. But obviously we need to level them up for something. So for example, Sage, uh, well, Sage is gonna stay a carpenter, but uh, for example, I think it's Felix who is our farmer. Let, let's take a look. Uh, oh no, Felix was the car, Sage. Sage is going to become a cook eventually. Uh, she is level 3, which means she uh, can do it now, but we need a cook spoon to do that. So yeah, that is uh, what we will be progressing towards. We're getting a trader with a few things, but I don't think we want to trade for anything. No. So we want a cook spoon. So let's take a look. Can any of you make it? Doesn't look like anything here. Okay, probably not the weaver. Nope. Uh, the mason? Yeah, cook spoon. Uh, requires a mason of level 2. Oh, and it's already cute. Yes, perfect. Uh, so, as things uh, get built and whatnot, uh, th th we will start getting some of those. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's craft a bird bath and, um, use stone lanterns, st stuff that we can uh, have and craft, and we'll have those around. So between episodes, I did get to become more familiar with the building tools. And let me just remind myself what I'm building here. This is a mason. And this is... A house of sorts, I think. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, this is just a... a oh no, it's a um, weaver's place. Okay, that, that, that works. So what we need now is to build roads. So let's take a look at the roads tool. And I think I'm mostly gonna want stone type roads to contrast with the wooden houses. I don't quite like this uh, pattern, so I'm just going to go with a more slaty shuttle gray or... Let's take a look at that. That or this. Maybe this? Yeah, that one works. So let's uh, let's not delete that. I'll delete that entire road. Um, and go for it again. Oh, we have a goblin stomping back to town. Okay, so we'll take a moment just to see this. Me dream last night. In dream, you make me stuff. We like brothers, only me no kill you. Got stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah, we do have those. You can, there you go. There we go. Uh, I guess we'll have to get perhaps another 
bow made. Yeah, cute. Uh, okay, no, it's uh, it's set. Uh, so let's get back to the building of the road with that. So first things first, actually, let's get a lighter road just to set this area here to um, become a little better, right? And then I want to surround it like this. It. Nope, please don't do that. There we go. And there. Okay, I think that looks mm, marginally okay. And they're gonna add another one here. Uh, do I, how do I want to line it up with the fireplace? Yes, that's good. So we're gonna do that there, and then we will have one of these coming down and joining up there. And the same for here, we'll take... Ah! Heartling! We'll do it this way. I, I don't know what happened there, but uh, okay. There we go, so that's a little bit more road over there, and... Where should this one go? Like through here? or Well, I can do both. I can make it both join over here and over there, and I mean, it's going to get, it's a, it's a town. So 3 by 25, that works out. And finally, I guess the herbalist is getting maybe a little thicker road. Nah. Getting the same road as everyone else. There we go. So that's starting to look okay. It's starting to look like something. And so let's do road. Yeah. And let's set it to build. Uh, they cannot figure out how to build your buildings. Why not? It's a road. I mean, I know it needs... Is it because there's stuff on top? Good lord, that, that red is very, very bright. I did say I was uh, trying to build something. Is it because it's like so big? Has one spot or... I mean, I guess you could move stuff so that they can try to build. Hmm. I am so unsure what's going on. What happens if I move? <laughs> what happens if I move the road over here? Nothing cause stuff and things. I don't know. I have to... It's, th this is so weird. Which building is solid? So this is nine. Okay. Let's just... Done. New building. Yes. I call it road. Let's try that, but a little... A little slower. Um, so we're gonna come over here and... Get 3 by 25 going. Okay, so they can build that. And uh, we can do another 
section can they build that they can okay so i guess, I guess it's just gonna have to be like bit by bit i suppose well that's disappointing oh well it's something i suppose our little autonomous creatures are a little bit uh, stopped. Let us move this stockpile zone. Ooh, can't I like expand it? Uh, let's remove all that and designate the zone around here a little bit to the side. And they should move things over, which is good. Is this... Uh, not what I wanted. This. Oh, we will get a loom at some point. Hasn't been built? No, because I, I can like uninstall these. So that they get put in here. I think the mason might have s not the mason the qu the yeah this guy the carpenter, but doesn't seem like there's one queued, which is good I think, or maybe the weaver himself had had one yeah there here's here's one and we don't want that. We do want supply baskets and bolts of leather and stuff. Uh, those will get made eventually, but first I want this moved out. So daily update, we cannot get another hearthling because we don't have enough food. And I'm not entirely sure if we really don't have enough food or it just hasn't been moved where it's supposed to be. So this part of the road is done. Uh, time to go make some more. Um, Okay, new building project. And so I, I guess that that's how we're doing things right now. You're gonna do that. And yep, they're so much lighter than what they will be. Which is kind of concerning. But that's okay, we'll, we'll make it work. Oh, and I'll have to bring some over here. That's, that's not, not gonna be... Easy. They will get that built. Let's take a look at our earthlings. Or not. A trader approaches the town. If you make five large crates, you get to three iron males. I accept. Let's do that. So, uh, how many do they want, actually? <laughs> Immediately forgot. Uh, five. Okay. Craft. Life. Please and indeed you. Yeah. They're having fun over here, how cute. And over here the road is uh, nearly done. Yeah, nice and perfect. Now let's make a new building project. And let's try with the shuttle gray to get it around the, the town square so that has to be 13 so let's do 13 by 13 and we'll move things to be a little bit ah yeah so they can't build there and i really wish those blocks would move because there's things in the way so uh let's move that Let's uh, uninstall a few things. Like seriously, are those like gonna be... This is a, a very good game that has no... <sighs> anyway. Let's move things over to the side and... You know. Remove them and stuff. 
so that uh, there's nothing in the way so that we can put the road there and then we'll move them on top. Okay, that should sort of do it. And we're missing the bench, but I uh, guess, guess we'll move this a little bit to the side. So y'all can build that. Is this bench set to be removed? It is. Because we do want to build something around the center thing, like a, a little border. Uh, but all in due time. Kind of weird that you can't build roads under things. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I like that. But that's okay. We'll watch them dig up the things. Oh, invaders approaching! Everyone! Hold on, let's see. I think our people are good enough to deal with this, these endlings. But those iron males are definitely gonna come in handy if we can get them. And I think that is the only threat, right? Yeah, okay. Everyone can go back to work and we get a footman level 2. Uh, which is uh, great. Let's see... Can we... Not from here, no we can't. Um, sure. Sam, 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 Sam kiss. Sam can become a knight uh, if we craft them a shield. Uh, they need to become a level 3 footman too, but that's fine. Uh, do we have an archer to make Laetha? Okay, no, they, they all need to become level 3. Okay, let's make sure our carpenter is crafting oh maybe we do have one already around here somewhere perhaps oh is this a cook spoon yes it is okay so sage can become a cook now we approve and we are going to need someone else to become a farmer so maggie you are going to become a farmer. Congratulations, I think. Why hasn't the spinning wheel been removed? Oh, we have two of them, so this one can actually... Well, I guess we can't really destroy it. Perhaps we can sell it at some point. I don't know, it's kind of weird. So they've done the stuff here. So we can move this into place and move the hearth into place and I think that is centered. Now we can get our benches back. Um, so no, that's a supply rack. There we go, stone bench. And we can rotate with the keys that it's telling me I can rotate with. And there we go. That one is not in the correct spot. Which is not okay. So one, two, and it's the third. One, two, it's the third. There we go. That's better, I think. And this thing, I mean, I suppose we do want to move it, or at least let's put it there. It's like the food crate, so it can totally be there. And that is a mason's workbench, uh, which won't it be like in this house or something? I don't know. Uh, let's take a look at our new cook craft menu. So we need a stone cauldron, meal grinder, and an oven. Let's start with the stone cauldron. Or do we want to make a house that has it? Ooh, that's... 
Now let's make a stone cauldron and uh, we will then decide what to do with it. So now they should have uh, enough to light that up and eat like with a, a good little light. So let's go back into the building and make our our border of the way. Don't I see the things on top? That's... Ah, uh, that is so weird. Anyway. And so that was probably the reason why they weren't being able to build. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this entire thing. And uh, we'll select it to be built. We're gonna need more stone though, which means... Mining, I think. I definitely do think. Uh, perhaps we want to open up here more? Like do a little quarry place? Or do we want to go like into there? Let's see. Zones, crafters, harvest? Yeah. And... Ah, okay. So we, we do have some mining there. Um, borders and recover resources. Just, I'm not sure. Large egg? No. In a small boulder. So let's harvest that for stone. Yes, good. Um, I don't know if we can mine, really. Where did we get all the other stone? An official-looking fella approaches. Not a bird this time. Kind greetings! At last, I can see your settlement in person. You've developed even faster than I anticipated. You should all be proud. Thank you. I came out personally to help you on your last step towards being a true settlement of the Ascendancy. You've grown large enough now that it's time to choose what hearth shall represent your town as is tradition. Indeed, hearts have served as shining beacons for towns all the way back to the Phoenix Empire. Their glow attracts settlers and prosperity, and the particular qualities of a chosen heart reflect where a town finds its value. Value? For instance, a heart of cheer is for those who believe that a town's value is found in being a happy home for its citizens. Sounds quaint. A heart of makers, on the other hand, is for those who believe that the town's value is its work and that its work is best measured in gold. Sounds productive. Finally, a heart of glory is for those who believe their destiny is to stand strong in a hostile world, as the Knight Sid did at the founding of the Ascendancy. Sounds heroic. Cheer, glory, or makers, the choice is entirely yours. Envision what your town will one day be and follow that beacon into the future. We choose. And I don't think it's any surprise that we are going to pick the Heart of Cheer, because what are colony or city builders about other than making the people happy? Heart of Cheer, proof that you have happy, well-fed citizens and nice places for them to live. Boost daily update net worth based on overall morale of your citizens. Each day brings a new random buff for your townsfolk. So we are going to issue our declaration. All citizens are at least content, yes. So five citizens are at least merry and we need to have prepared food. That is so that we can upgrade to the cheer heart. So we obviously don't have that yet, but that means we do have some new goals, unfortunately. That is all I have for today. If you'd like to see how we are going to accomplish those goals, Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can get more Stoneheart right in your inbox. And until next time, please remember that here, uh, there be dragons. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day and I'll see you next time.